Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADAC and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and I'm here today to talk about motivation. Uh, to talk about motivation, I think first we got to talk about your motivation to talk about motivation, because I think when you really pay attention to that, it changes the definition a little bit. What's fascinating to me is when most people are paying attention to motivation, they're paying attention to what they want you to do. Let me repeat that. Motivation for many is they're, what they're paying attention to is what they want you to do. As an attention coach, what I've learned is motivation is very different. And there's two basic truths that I've learned about motivation. Uh, part of it, uh, uh, some great information I got from Dr. Roberto Olivardia. And basic truth number one is uh, you'd be dead if you weren't motivated. I mean, plain and simple. Uh, you wouldn't survive. So that's one basic truth. And the second truth about motivation is everything you do, you're motivated to do. And everything you don't do, you weren't motivated to do for whatever reason. And I say that because you really, if you're going to really deal with motivation, you actually have to, you have to get to its core and really what it is. And motivation is what you do. Everything you do, you're motivated to do. If you're not doing something else, you're not motivated to do it. And this, this, distinct, yeah, this distinction, I think, is really, really important, particularly for those um, outside that don't have ADHD that are working with ADHD. I hate that phrase, they're not motivated. They're highly motivated. They are as motivated as you are because they do things. Um, if they're not doing their homework and they're watching Xbox, it's because they're, excuse me, playing Xbox, it's because they're motivated to play Xbox. Um, an alcoholic is motivated to drink. Um, it's, just, it's just really plain and simple. So let's get away from motivation is what, you, what we want you to do or, or um, this kind of fictitious thing. The key really is, is if you're gonna manage motivation, you need to know that what you do, you're motivated to do. And if, if what you're motivated to do isn't getting you to your intentions, as an attention coach, what I have found is you need to adjust the environment, okay, to put choices for you to do what you intend to do. So if you have um, some task to do that's uh, really boring and you're not motivated to do it, you need to adjust the environment a little bit to do that. So I talk a lot about ADHD and exercise, or really just exercise in general, because exercise is repetitive and boring routine task, plain and simple, which is classic. I mean classic for things that those with ADHD are not motivated to do. But as I've preached many times before, many of those or many people exercise when they're doing it with somebody else. They've changed that environment and they're motivated to go exercise with somebody else. I myself was an internationally ranked athlete. I used to swim four hours a day and I live in Florida right now. I'm in my 50s and if I can swim by myself three times a year, that's a, a banner year. I'm always doing it with somebody else because I'm not motivated to do it by myself. I want to do it by myself, but I struggle with it. So it's best to make that adjustment. So as you walk away with this, um, I could spend a lot of time on motivation, but I really wanted to make that differentiation is that those with ADHD are as motivated as anybody else because everything they do, they're motivated to do. And motivation is not what you want to do. Uh, what you want, what you got to do is if you want to accomplish something that you want to do and you're not motivated to do it, you got to spend the time and the effort to adjust the environment such that it's easy for you to do. So I hope you've gained some insights and aha or two about that because after all at Dig Coaching Practice we're all about the aha where we excavate the aha daily. Find out more information about me and what we do at digcoaching.com and please subscribe to our channel for this tip and many others. We hope you got something from this and a little bit of insight and we'll pay attention to motivation a little differently. Take care.